Hey everybody, it's Kelly with uh, AOAT Survival, Arkansas Outdoor Adventure Training. This is my lovely wife, Ann. Hello. Uh, I'm treating her to dinner tonight. We're going to have an MRE, which is a meal ready to eat. It's uh, the preferred meal of the military. This is what you get in the field. A lot of you know what an MRE is, some of you don't. Notice it says war fighter recommended, war fighter tested, and war fighter approved. So it's got to be good. It's true. Anne is not a war fighter. <laughs> so we will see if she approves it or not. Uh, 12 to 1500 calories per meal. They're a little bulky, they're a little heavy, but uh, if you eat three of these a day, you get a lot of calories. Um, Can I interject that I eat about 1200 calories a day? So this would last her the entire day, but if you're doing a lot of work and you're carrying a rucksack, this is what you want. Uh, they come in these handy bags. You split it open, all of the stuff's inside. Keep the bag because this is what you're going to put your trash in. Pack it in, pack it out. All right, uh, this one, menu number nine, it's beef stew. Uh, comes in a box, we've got beef stew. Pretzels. Nut raisin mix. Chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage powder. Chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage powder. We'll have to mix that in a little bit. Uh, blackberry jam, which is actually one of my favorites. Peanut butter, delicious. A spoon. The heater, this heats your meal. Multi-grain snack bread. And then we have the uh, condiment pack. Inside the condiment pack, we have salt, salt, Louisiana pepper sauce, a raspberry beverage base, put in a bottle of water or a canteen, a moist towelette, you're definitely going to need that some chewing gum and this is not like your regular chiclets good chewing gum it doesn't taste that great but this is made for cleaning your teeth notice this doesn't come with a toothbrush and a little package of toilet paper that's how much you get it's not a napkin no that's toilet paper you get a moist tablet oh. all right we're going to start opening some of this stuff <laughs> We'll be back in just a minute. All right, uh, we've gotten everything opened, all of the foodstuffs, and I'm going to have my wife try them and uh, and see how they taste. There, there's a spoon in a package right over there, and you know some people are professionals at eating MREs. I'm a professional, so you don't need to see me eat one. We want to see what my wife thinks. So if you want to, you can go ahead and start with the blackberry jam. You want to have that on your multi-grain toast. First thing, hold up Here's that the, toast. There's the multi-grain toast. Let me get a, yeah, that looks good. It actually, uh, yeah, looks like something you would feed a pet. Okay. <laughs> Got that. Blackberry jam. It's the blackberry jam. All right. There's the blackberry that. jam going on the multi-grain Hey, that looks like good stuff. Okay. We're looking for honesty. Actually, it's not bad. How's the multi-grain bread? Like something you'd feed a pet? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like in between a cracker and a, it's like a soft, thick cracker. Okay. Not, quite, not quite a piece of bread, but. All right. Well, you don't have to eat the whole thing, but 
there's that. Now you've got peanut butter and you've got pretzels. What could you do with those two? I think I'll put them together. I've actually sampled the peanut butter before and it's pretty good. Okay. So this isn't such a surprise. All right, pretty simple. Peanut butter and a pretzel. You can't mess that up. Even if it's in an MRE, you can't really mess up peanut butter and a pretzel. Okay. All right. Comes in a convenient squeezy tube. Next thing you got is a nut raisin mix. So here's my nut raisin mix right here. See, it says nut raisin and Hold uh, hold that out in your hand. Let me get a. Hang this on, is let me. What it looks like it's kind of like a trail mix. Hang on with that right there for just a second. What all's in that? There are almonds and peanuts and. Should be safe for you because I don't see any cashews in it. I don't see cashews. Military There's dudes almonds. don't get cashews. You get an almond. Nobody's gonna give you a cashew. Almonds. Some strange little looking nut that I've never seen before. Let me try a bite of it, see if it's any good. What, what is this kind of nut? Brazil nut? I thought they were bigger. I don't know what that is. Hmm? It tastes nutty. It does taste nutty. All right. Hazelnut, that's what that is. A raisin, a walnut. All right, that's good enough. We get that's it, good. it's a nut raisin mix. <laughs> okay, uh, that brings you to the cocoa beverage powder. Now. When discussing an MRE, let me see that. It's a nice hourglass shape. You have different things. Yep, there's a reason for this hourglass shape. If you can see this, uh, chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage powder. When you come down here, you see a line right here by my thumb. That's the fill line. So that's where you want to fill your water up to. It's in one of these uh, weird non-see-through bags but you kind of got to guess at it. So we're going to put our, uh, and it's actually a zip seal top on it. You got a zip seal bag. So we'll put our water in here up one? to the line. Yeah. And then we'll mix it back and forth and all that good stuff. So you can mix it up kind of like you would a milkshake. Now, if you want your cocoa beverage powder hot, we're going to cook it next. So go ahead and mix this up and get it ready. And then we'll heat it when we heat our other food. Sounds good. All right, let's see. I need to shake let's it see, up do that. Break it up. No, it's pretty well good. Just pour some water in there up to that fill line, and uh, here I go with the water. Oops. Oh, uh, that's fine. It's all right. Now, Oops. get it to the fill line. Too much? Too little? Uh, no, no, you know, no, some no, guys no, in the no. some guys in the military cut that bag in half with their knife and. Uh, they just put a little bit of water in it, then they mix like instant coffee that they might get in an MRE, sugar, uh, coffee creamer, things like that. And uh, they make what they call ranger pudding. I've eaten it many times myself. It's not that bad. All right, so there you go. Let's get the Got that in. mixed up. You set it down. Do I need to lean it? Nope, just set it down. It'll be all right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use this heater. The heater works with water or urine uh, or yeah. anything else. <laughs> I've actually I've actually peed in these. It doesn't touch the food. Uh, so anything that you put in here, if you can if you can kind of notice, there's these little pockets of uh, of stuff in there, iron shavings or something. And uh, when you add water to it, it it gets hot. You don't want to do these in like a broom closet or in a small room or something like that because they give off carbon dioxide and they can be dangerous. So don't be doing this in a tent. If you're going to heat something up with it, uh, set it outside your tent. Now it's got simple and easy to follow instructions. And they make these for military dudes. So you can see number one, open the bag and number two, uh, look in the bag. Number three, pour some water in the bag. Number four, fold it around your meal and put it back in the box. Number five, whatever. Now my favorite, my absolute favorite of all times, just so you know, I'm not kidding. This is an actual military MRE and it has the army directions on it. You need to prop it on a rock or something. 
needs to be inclined on a rock or something. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is as long as it's a rock or something. It could be a person, it could be a tree. Not your back pocket. Not your back pocket. These are not good hand warmers because they'll cook your butt. All right, uh, we're gonna get this started. We'll come back in just a minute with a little more instruction on how to cook with these things. All right, so we're ready to start cooking our MRE because all those other snackability things that were in there are delicious. And we have a rock or something here on the table. That's what this is. We have our heater and our meal. Here's so Ann knows how to cook the MRE, so I'm gonna let her kind of explain how this is done. All right, so you can read the instructions and do it exactly how it is, or you can do it kind of like the cool way. So what you do is you put in your meal, our lovely beef stew, you put it in your box, you tear off the top of your heater packet, and we stick it in the box as well. And then we take our pre previously shaken cocoa, chocolate, hazelnut, beverage powder, and we put it on the other side. So you got the meal on one side and the cocoa powder on the other. I've got the cocoa powder drink here, the heater, and then the meal over here. So the heater's pulling double duty. That's cool. Yes. Uh, you can also do that. Some of the meals come with uh, cider. Some of them come with coffee this one came with that raspberry drink or whatever but if you get coffee and you want it to be a hot drink or whatever then then do that like i like i say remember when you're cooking these things don't cook them in a tent don't cook them in your bathroom with the door closed if you're cooking them inside your house during like an or ice storm or something your your electricity's off open a window open a door or something like that crack it put it out on the front porch and let it cook don't cook it inside your house we're doing this in here just to show you how it's done and then as it's cooking for the 10 minutes or so that it cooks we're going to stick it outside that way we don't have a bunch of uh carbon monoxide running around through the house smelling it up so so actually you would think that you need a whole lot of water to fill up your heater it's only about this much water and you want to not overfill it because then you're gonna have a whole terrible mess so you just pour that right in there and kind of let it do its work you lean it on the rock or something which is what we have at an incline and that is a rock or something. And if you will kind of watch over here, you'll start to see some magic happen. Um, when it says rock or something, it's true. I wanted to show you that it can actually be a rock or something. So I have a rock here. I can move that and place a strange little flashlight in there. And now the flashlight has it. So now you have a flashlight. So that's something. But see the magic working? I don't know if I can... That up on. I can kind of smell it, but uh, see if I can, I can roll down it. in here. Yeah. yeah but if you're quiet, you can kind of hear it, but you can see some of that uh, smoke raising up out of there. Like I say, do not use this thing for a, a butt warmer. I've seen that happen. I actually had to give an MRE class afterwards, so don't do that. So you can see it smoking. We're going to cut off here, let this thing do its work, and heat it up. And we'll be back. Okay, we heated up the uh, the meal. Nice and warm. It takes about 10 minutes for that uh, heater to cook off. Now, if you're in the field and you're using you're, you're eating an MRE, you don't want to give off a smell uh, or whatever. You can you don't have to heat it up. It's ready to eat without heating it. All right, there's your cocoa beverage. It actually looks like a cocoa beverage because it is. Notice that when Ann gets finished, she puts everything in the MRE bag. That's your trash bag. It comes with it. Everything has a reason. So, see what Ann thinks about this. It tastes like an instant kind of coffee, like... Cocoa hazelnut yum, yum. coffee drink or cocoa hazelnut drink. Okay. That's what it's supposed to taste like. Like international classics or something. All right. Stuff, this stuff's made by the same type of companies, but... Uh, you know, it's just used with the military. So, in order to make sure that everything in here gets warm, you kind of have to knead it around. It feels pretty warm. All of these packages are uh, foil lined or mylar lined. So, if uh, 
when she gets this one open we can kind of look inside she's actually going to pour out the beef stew so you'll see now, if you'll notice she's opening that on the side it's got little tick marks on the side because if you try to open it and eat it from the end you need a very long spoon yeah all right the actual stuff the beef stew itself If you'll notice, it looks a lot like beef stew in the can. Yep. It's exactly the same. So, you know, these people that tell you about MREs or whatever, MREs are, are decent food. Here's the hot sauce. I would go lying on the hot sauce. <laughs> but only like because it. I've had MREs. You're from, you're from Texas. Mm -hmm. I understand. Go ahead. I don't know anything. <laughs> Heavy on the salt, light on the, light on the pepper sauce. I'm telling you. I'll put some on the side. All right. Remember, you got to be in the field later. Wow, me. Yep. That's kind of wild looking. Yeah. Ooh, I can smell it. I tried to tell you. It's going to be good. It's like putting mace on there. So heavy on the salt? I, well, you don't have to. You, you can always take a bite first and then oh. decide what you want. <laughs> We're going to get fried rice later anyway. This is not going to be my only meal of the night. I'm not eating that tonight. I've eaten plenty. Oh, yeah. Putting it all in there. Yep, that's delicious. <laughs> MRE meals that you want to look out for. Cheese tortellini. It's got Skittles in there. There's uh, carrots and potatoes and peas. Well. Tastes pretty good. It tastes a lot like canned um, beef stew. Exactly. What's the shelf life on an MRE? They say it's five years. I've eaten them that are much, much older than five years. It depends on how they're stored. In a cool, safe, dry place, they're, you know, the lifespan can be 10 years. Uh, it's spicy. It's spicy, so you're gonna go with a uh, beverage powder. Excellent. That's why they give you that toilet paper. I think that it's unfair that they give you toilet paper these days uh, in uh, World War II and sea rations they gave you cigarettes. <laughs> so that is the beverage powder, it's raspberry. It's actually not bad either. I like it quite a bit. If you would show us the inside of that pretzel package over there. A lot of the over-the-counter foods that you'll buy that are for yeah, hold it right in there and open it up. It's a, it's a Mylar lined package. So don't try and take one of these and stick it in the microwave. Don't Those, eat this either. <laughs> yeah, don't eat it, but that's just for, uh, that's just to keep them fresh. So Mylar Very lined good. packets. So after you get finished with everything, you throw everything in your bag and, uh, and you toss it. When you're hey, getting... Hold on, I haven't mixed my drink yet. When you get rid of your MRE, if you choose not to cook it with the heater, do not throw the heater directly in the trash. Because if it's unopened and for some reason it drew any kind of moisture into that little green bag because it got a small hole punch, it can explode, it will explode, it can cause fires. So make sure you rip the top of that thing off, pour some water in it, set it out in your front yard where there's nothing around, and let it do its thing and cook off and be done with it but don't don't just throw it away without opening it and cooking it off very sweet and raspberry like a kool-aid all right so now you've had the mre class uh this is the same mre class that i give to guys that come into the military uh you know don't forget to chew your gum it disintegrates in about 30 seconds and it turns to a nasty mush but like i say it's made to clean your teeth I hope that you guys found this interesting and for some of you out there that have never eaten an MRE or thought about buying MREs, MREs are great. I wouldn't spend a hundred dollars a case for them, but uh, you know, some people want them for food storage. My food storage is different. I'll do another video on that at another time, but now you've seen the MRE. If you want to throw one in your bug out bag or your survival kit, they're great. You know, 12 to 1500 calories per meal. They're a little heavy, a little bulky, but they do taste good. 
and uh, you know they're worth a few bucks I wouldn't spend eight or nine dollars each or a hundred and ten dollars for a case so that's just my two cents uh, what what kind of stars do you give it one one to five stars five being the greatest thing you've ever eaten and one being the worst thing you've ever eaten be I'd honest give, I'd give it about a three and a half to four three and a half to four five being the greatest thing you've ever eaten all right boy i guess i've eaten too many and uh, i'm used to those all right hey thanks uh for watching well, yes I was gonna say, by the way my favorite mre which is why i gave this one a three and a half to a four is the tuna sandwich ones they have little tortillas tuna and they always have m m's every girl's favorite thing <laughs> there you go all right, you heard it from the expert. The best MRE is a tuna. Unless you don't like tuna, then it's something else. I'm telling you, it's the cheese tortellini. If you don't believe me, go find it. Or chili mac. Chili mac or cheese tortellini. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you to Ann for coming out and being on a video with me. Uh, you guys have a, have a great spring break and weekend, and we'll see you again soon.